In this video, we'll be discussing about how you can rename your Hyperflex cluster along with the vCenter cluster and data center objects. The first thing that we'll be renaming is your Hyperflex cluster name. So this is the name that you see here on top when you log in into your HX Connect. In order to change it, you have to go into your vCenter and go into the Hyperflex plugin. So you can go into global inventory list here you will find the option for Cisco HX data platform. You, you can click on it. Here you will see you have the cluster. Now if you right click here, you will have an option for rename cluster. So let's rename it to HX06. So I'll go ahead and remove this. Click OK. Now, if I go back to my HX Connect, I refresh the page, you will see that my cluster has been renamed. So next, let's talk about renaming our vCenter data center and the vCenter cluster names. So for these, you will have to rename them first in the vCenter and then you will have to launch an SSH session to your HX Connect IP and run an STCLI cluster re-register command. So let's do it. So I'll right click here and choose the rename option. Let's rename it to HX06DC. I can do the same for the vCenter cluster as well. So now as you can see your names have been changed in the vCenter but the problem is that your Hyperflex is not aware of this change yet. So at this stage if you try and put one of your node into maintenance mode or if you try to take a snapshot for uh, one of the VMs it might fail because Hyperflex still has the old information. So in order to update it we will have to get an SSH session to your HX Connect cluster IP. Once you have that, you can run this command stcli cluster re-register. Here, as you can see, that the parameters that we give are vCenter data center and vCenter cluster. And as you can already see, that I've given the new names here. So give the updated names and then give the vCenter URL here you don't have to include HTTPS just give the IP or the FQDN depending on what you use and then give your vCenter user this user has to be an admin user of the vCenter now let's run the command it will prompt you for the password so let me quickly grab the password Now once you've typed the password and press enter, it will take a couple of minutes to proceed uh, or to complete the re-register process. So we'll just have to wait for now. Okay, so as you can see, we got the message that vCenter re-registration has been succeeded. Now we can verify that the cluster has the updated information by running this particular command. So we can run stcli cluster info and we can grip for vc. And as you can see here, the cluster name has been updated to hx06 cluster and the data center name has also been updated to hx06 data center i hope this tutorial helped you out thank you